Today we are going to have some fun. We're going to be comparing one of the best selling smart home plugs out there on the market, which is the Amazon Smart Plug versus a brand new smart home contender, which has been tearing up the smart home industry in the last two or three years, and that is the Wise Cam. They have recently released their brand new Wise Plug. So let's go ahead and do it. Welcome back guys, my name is Eric and you're watching Modern Day Tech, where tech is more than just cool, it is technically awesome. And you become technically awesome yourself by hitting the notification bell. Now in general, they're both really good smart plugs. You're not gonna go wrong with either one. Ultimately, it's gonna come down to your choice, what matters to you most. Now I think most people are gonna be considering price in this market because Wise has definitely outdone everyone when you get two plugs for $20. That's $15 plus like $5 shipping. You just can't beat that. There are other plugs from overseas and they're just no names. Yes, you can get those cheaper, but these are name brands and you can trust them a little bit more and you know they're gonna last and they have that customer support also. Whereas the Amazon plug, you get one Amazon plug for $25. And if you're a Prime member, you get free shipping. If not, I'm not quite sure <laughs> what shipping is anymore because I've been using Prime for so long. So it might be a dollar or two more, I guess, for shipping. <laughs> I don't know. Another big purchasing factor is what systems it currently works with. So that means what voice assistants and also what other smart home tech currently work with those systems. Now in the future, things could change, but with the Wise plug, it works with Alexa, Google Home, and also IFTTT. Whereas the Alexa plug only works with Alexa. It does not work with Google Home and it does not work with IFTTT. And neither systems work with HomeKit. <laughs> now you might have made your mind up just right there like I did where you can get two for $20 that work with all those systems versus one that sells for $25 and only works with one system. But like to take it a little bit further. Let's do some testing and see if there's any other advantages that one might have over the other. Now, as far as their physical characteristics, the Wise Plug is a lot lighter compared to the Amazon Plug. It's also a little bit more narrow in both directions. Let me see if I can show you this way. It might do some B-roll and you can see it's a little bit more narrow. But don't worry if you want to have two plugs, you can definitely stack them into a normal American outlet. So you definitely don't have to worry about that with either one of these. They both have buttons on the side so you can manually turn them on and off. Both of these are 120 volts, 15 amps, which works out to about 1800 watts. Most things in your house, you'll be safe to plug in, but you definitely wanna be smart about it. Make sure it's not going over 1800 watts. All right, let's go ahead and plug these bad boys in. We are going to have Y's right there. Plug in the Y's. And we're gonna be plugging in the Amazon. Okie dokie. What should be the first Test. Now some of these tests might sound lame and honestly, they definitely are. I think both of these plugs are very well made and they both do very similar things in the exact same manner. So no matter which one you pick, I, I'm, I think both these are definitely great. If you wanna save money, go with Wise. If you wanna support Amazon, <laughs> that's the only positive thing I got here. <laughs> You can go with the Amazon. Both of them are very uh, good choices. But let's go ahead and jump in one of these tests. Let's do a speed test, <laughs> if that's important to you. All right, let's do a physical speed test. First up, Amazon. Okay, next up, Wise. I don't know, I think the Wise may be a half a second faster. Let's turn it off. Listen for the click also. And now Amazon. Mm. 
I'm gonna try bo press both buttons at the same time. It's really hard because, you know, your fingers are not perfectly aligned, but I'm gonna try. Ready? Here we go. I think they both turned on at the exact same time. Let's try to turn them off. Ready? I think they both are exactly the same. Let's go ahead and do it from their native app, meaning I'm gonna turn on the light from the Wise app, and then we're gonna turn on the Amazon light from the Alexa app. All right, ready? First up, Wise. That was pretty fast. Let's go ahead and turn it off. Definitely very fast. That's one thing nice about Wi-Fi plugs over some other um, communication like Zigbee or uh, what's the other one? Uh, Z-Wave. They tend to be a little bit faster on Wi-Fi. There are definitely advantages of Z, uh, Zigbee and Z-Wave. Personally, I like one communication style in a house. I think you only need one hub, meaning one Wi-Fi router, versus multiple hubs, even though because I test out a lot of different things, I think I have seven to 10 different hubs, and honestly, it drives me crazy. I wish it would just come down to one technology, one communication, and everyone would agree, and everyone could figure out how to make that one standard or one communication work for everything. Now. Of course, people are gonna say, hey, battery life, distance, blah, 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 blah. Hey, I get it. Some have more advantages than others, but come on, why can't we all work together and come up with one communication, one hub that works for everybody? That was just my little soapbox. Let's go into Alexa. Ready? I turned on pretty fast. Now, like I mentioned earlier, Wise does also work with Alexa. So let's go ahead and do a speed test from Alexa app to see how long it takes to turn on the Wise. Ready? Wow, there is definitely a delay there. Let's turn it off. Definitely probably about one to one and a half second delay. So because you have to go through more servers, you know, you have to go through not only the Amazon servers, but also the Y servers, there's definitely a delay there. It's very similar to IFTTT. When you have multiple companies and multiple servers that it has to go through, it's definitely gonna have that delay. Both these plugs have timers in the app. So if you want to turn on the light for X amount of time, say 60 minutes, you can definitely set that and it will turn off in 60 minutes. Now you can also do a schedule, for instance, if you want the lights or the plugs to turn on at 7 a.m. every single morning. For instance, if it's a cup of coffee, you know, a coffee machine that you want to have ready every single morning, you can definitely do schedules in both of these apps. In addition to the alarms and schedules, both of these, you can have some type of automation within the apps. For instance, the Amazon Alexa app, you can have automations or what they call routines. And in WISE, they call it device triggers. Now, there are some limitations here. For instance, when you have the door, uh, the WISE sense, the door triggers or a window trigger, you can definitely trigger all the WISE plugs um, through IFTTT, you shouldn't have an issue there. But to get this into, say, a device that's within the Alexa app, Alexa is kind of only a one-way door, <laughs> virtually. Um, I've tried to have things go out through IFTTT, um, which you can use your voice to control things through IFTTT, through Alexa app, but you can't trigger anything from IFTT coming in so you can't have a IFTTT control this plug right here. Whereas the WISE plug, you can definitely do that through IFTTT. Hope that made sense to you. So I know it's a little confusing. You're definitely gonna have more availability or more openness with the WISE plug currently, uh, unless it's already built into the Alexa app. In that case, if everything works within the Alexa app, you should have no problem with the Amazon plug. I would be leaving affiliate links down below. We can pick up either one of these plugs. I definitely highly recommend either one of these, but if you do want to save money and want a little bit more options, definitely go for the Wise. 
it does help to support this channel so I can put out more content for you guys. If you're brand new here, I hope you would consider subscribing. Press this blue circle right under the Amazon sign right there. And if you want to watch the otherwise devices, watch this playlist right there. You'll definitely be happy with the wise products. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys on the next video.